Probably before uh, proving it, because we are proving too many things, let me give you some consequences of this and then come back to a proof of this. So, uh, consequences. So, let us look at, I, because I, this theorem is useful in uh, producing many examples of uh, connected sets. Okay. So, suppose A alpha is any family of connected sets. Any collection of collection such that A alpha intersection A beta is not empty for alpha not equal to beta. Any two of them intersect at least once somewhere. Is a collection of sets, right. For example, let us look at R 2. Look at two parallel lines, one parallel line, other parallel line, right. They do not intersect, okay. So, we will not be considering that kind of example here. So, to look at any two lines which which are not parallel, they will intersect, right. Now, intuitively a line in R 2 looks like a connected set in R 2. Intuitively, I am just saying a line in R 2 looks like a connected set. Why it is connected? Why is a line a connected set in R 2? looks like I, I cannot break it into two parts which are disjoint kind of which are not which are separated. But let us look at a line is the image of the x axis. So, let us I think uh, I am going in a different direction which I had not thought of, but let me does not matter it is a nice thing to look at. So, look at so let us look at lines through the origin only for the time being ok. What is a line through the origin? what is the equation of that line y equal to m of x. So, a line so L m a line with a slope m I can write it as points x comma m of x x belonging to r right that is one way of writing a line through the origin as a subset in R 2. Now, look at the map x going to x m x. So, this is a function from where to where this is a function of from real line to R 2. Is it continuous? Is this function continuous? If x n converges to x, then the first component of this converges m of x will converge m of x n will converge to m of x right. So, it is continuous because x n converging to x implies x n comma m x n will converge to x comma m of x is a continuous function and we proved already is it ok there is a continuous function. How do I prove this this function is continuous in the domain if x n converges to x the image should converge that is what we are saying here precisely right that is what it says in R 2 that sequence will converge a sequence in R 2 will converge if and only if each component converges ok the same thing. So, it is continuous and we proved that if a set is connected its image is also a connected set. Continuity preserves connectedness. So, real line is connected. So, its image the line through the origin also is connected ok. So, every line through the origin is connected So, if you look at all lines in the plane passing through origin so, this is a family of connected sets in the plane such that any two of them intersect, 
right? They intersect at the origin. Origin is a common point for all of them. So this is one example of this kind of a situation. A alpha is a collection of sets, right? In R n, here example it was R two, so that any two of them intersect. The claim is if each A alpha is connected, then their union also is connected. So that is a point. So here. So let me rewrite again. If A alpha are such that A alpha intersection A beta is non-empty, I don't have to write for alpha not equal to beta because alpha equal to beta is non-empty anyway, uh, and. Uh, each A alpha connected, then union A alpha is also connected. So, arbitrary union of connected sets need not be connected in general. For example, in the real line, take one interval 0 to 1, other interval 2 to 3. Both are connected, but their union is one interval here, one interval there. That is not connected, right? But if they intersect, so if any two of them intersect, then the union also becomes a. So it's a kind of connected. You can, from one, you can go to another through that connecting point, the intersection point. You can think of that way also, and that is what we are going to do. So proof. If I want to prove this is connected. So let us take a function f and union a alpha, alpha belonging to y into 0, 1. I am going to use that theorem that we have not yet proved, but I am just giving an illustration of it. How useful that will be. So, and it continues. Right? I should show this is constant. Claim if then f is constant. Right? So, how do I prove? For any two points, the value should be same. That is what it, we want to say. Right? If they both belong to A alpha, then we are through anyway, because A alpha is connected. So, on each A alpha, F is going to be, right? On each A alpha, because A alpha is connected, F restricted to A alpha cannot take two values either 0 or 1, it will be constant right? by that theorem. So, let us take one element in A alpha, other element in A beta. So, let x belong to A alpha and y belong to A beta, alpha not equal to beta. I want to show f x is equal to f of y. Right? Is that okay? Any two points should take the same value, then it is a constant function. But what is f of x is equal to? From A alpha, I want to go to A beta, and I am provided a route that there is a point of intersection between the two. A alpha intersects. So, let us go there and then come to the other point is equal to f z. If z belong to A alpha intersection A beta and that I know is there, at least there is one point z in the intersection and that is equal to f of y because A beta is connected. f of x is equal to A z because z belongs to both A alpha and A beta. So, f of x must be equal to A z because x and z both belong to A alpha. A alpha is connected and z and y belong to A beta. So, they should be equal, right? A alpha, A beta connected. So, we have used the fact that both are connected and intersection is non-empty, right? So, that implies f is constant.
Is it clear what we are saying? Here is A alpha, here is A beta, just for the sake of illustration, A is A beta, here is Z, here is X, here is Y, F is a function, right, either taking 0 or 1. On X, right, F of X has to be equal to F of Z because A alpha is connected, right, and Z and Y. So, z and y also and the same a beta. So, that f continuous connected implies they should be same. right? So, that implies it is a constant function. So, um, as a consequence of this, you can think of this kind of a set, sorry, this kind of a set right, is connected. in R n, in R 2, here it is in R 2. This is what is called a broom, a very common object in the household, right, a broom. So, that is a connected set. Okay. Another uh, illustration of the same, let us uh, give me an, uh, okay. Now, what do you think uh, of this kind of a thing? Do you think uh, intuitively it is a connected set in R2? I am just looking at pictures in R2. It is a very common thing again in household. What is that? It is a comb. Is comb a connected set? We can think of each vertical line as a set collection A alpha and bottom is a line call it B and B intersects each one of them and claim that is also connected. So, let me write uh, second A alpha B connected such that B intersection A alpha is non empty for every alpha, B intersects each alpha, A alpha somewhere, then that implies union of A alpha along with B oh sorry, I should write union, then implies union of A alpha, alpha belonging to I, union B is connected. Again, again the idea of the proof is straightforward. Given any two points, so let me keep that picture. One point is here, other point is here. Right? I want to say that value at this point x is same as the value at the point y. For any continuous function, in this union, the value is same. Right? It should be a constant function. Any function defined on this set is a constant. That is what we want to say. So, take in the picture, it looks like a, this kind of a set. Right? Is okay? Each A alpha is the vertical one, B is the horizontal one. They at least intersect at one point. So, value here is same as the value here. Value at x is same as the value at this point. So, call it x1 x 1 belong to the horizontal line 9. Now, that value is same as the value at y 1, because that is in connected set. And then I can go up to y, the value should be same. Same idea basically, right? that is also connected. So, intuitively you can, uh, if you want to write, you can write, uh, take any function from this set into 0 1. For any two points x and y, if x belongs to x and y both belong to same, then no problem at all. If they belong to different one, then via this kind of a route, because of non empty intersection, you can pick up points and go. Okay? So, that is the basic idea. So, this gives you lot of examples. Okay. Let me prove one more before giving you the abstract proof of that theorem. Let us look at 3. 
let us uh, let y be contained in uh, rn or x contained in rn such that okay x contained in y contained in x closure and x connected so what i am saying y is a set which is trapped between a set x and the closure of the same set x if x is connected this implies y is connected if something is trapped between the connected set and its closure the a connected set need not be closed right for example open interval 0 to 1 is an open set which is connected it need not be closed okay so uh, again what will be a proof of this same consequence of the same theorem if i take any if i take any function on y then it should take only it should be a constant function so f y to 0 1 continuous implies f constant so that is what we want to show right then y will be connected is that okay if any function on y 2 0 1 2 point set 0 and 1 is continuous and we are able to prove it is constant then y is connected by that theorem right so let us take take two points or let us take uh, any either way it's okay let us take a point y in y so let implies y belongs where y belongs to y is in x closure in x closure implies what there is a sequence xn belonging to x xn converging to y is that okay because we just now said sorry we have this situation x is inside y is in x closure take a point y in y that belongs to x closure so it must be a limit of a sequence in x okay so that means what f continuous implies what f of x n must converge to f of y right f is a continuous function on y so it must converge but what kind of sequence f of x n is where are x n's they are in x and x is connected and f is a function taking values in 0 1 so either it can take everywhere the value 0 or it can get only the value 1 it has to be a constant function so if f on x is the constant function 0 then each f of x n is equal to 0 so a constant sequence so f of y is 0 right for every point y f of y is 0 if is other one f of f restricted to x is constant function 1 then each one is equal to 1 then the value on y is 1 so claim f constant on x implies f constant on y because of this whatever value on x it takes if it is 0 then each of f of x n is 0 so that is f of y so the constant is same whatever it was on x right and on y and here is an interesting thing about this uh, example let us look at this example look at uh, what is the equation of the y axis that is x component is 0 comma y 
y belonging to r. So, that is the y axis. Let me write union of this with intuitively what I am trying to do is look at the function sin 1 sin of 1 over x. What is the graph of sin 1 over x? Have you come across? It is like sin x. So, it is wavy, but 1 over x that means near 0 it is getting cramped height is minus 1 to 1. So, height is minus 1 to 1. So, that is 1 that is minus 1 and the graph looks like it goes like this. So, I am looking at the graph of sin 1 over x union with the the part minus 1 to 1 of y axis that is connected intuitively clear the line is connected that part is connected ok. What about the graph of sin 1 over x is a curve kind of a thing right. Let us uh, intuitively assume that it also is connected ok or you can think it as a continuous uh, image of uh, r 1 over x that is a continuous function except at the point 0 sin 1 over x if you do not look at. So, uh, let me write graph of sin I am just trying to give you some interesting examples. What do you think is the closure of this set? Call this as x. What do you think is the closure of this set? The graph of sin 1 over x and the interval 1 to minus 1 to 1 on the y axis. So, this is coming ok, it will be something you cannot give a better geometric interpretation of this, but what I am saying is this is contained in what is the closure of that what will be the closure of that that will be union of right. So, what I want to say is this set is connected graph of sin 1 over x and that they look like separate parts right does not look like that they are connected, but what I am saying is if you look at the closure of that set the graph of sin 1 over x is coming closer and closer to minus 1 to 1 right. So, union of that is a connected set. So, this is a connected set. if you are able to visualize it ok. If not, I am just giving you some examples of connected sets in R 2. Do not worry about whether this will be asked in the exam or not try to understand it ok. Intuitively this is also a connected. So, very exotic kind of things uh, you can produce by using that theorem alone. So, I think uh, I have got some time to prove that. So, let us. So, I want to prove this theorem. Here. x is connected and two points at 0 1 uh, continuous it should be a constant function. So, let us assume one of them and prove the other. So, let us write once again the theorem. So, here is the where is the theorem here is the theorem. So, I want to prove it again sorry. So, let x be connected f x 2 0 1 continuous claim f is constant. right. So, 
for the just sake for the sake of visualization is good to this is x this is uh, the two point set 0 1 so let me just draw a picture this is 0 this is 1. Suppose not, not of this, it is not a constant function. That means, there are points where the value 0 is taken and there are also points where the value 1 is taken. We do not know what is where. So, look at then, look at the set A contained in x and what is A? That is f inverse of 0 and b in x, what is b? That is f inverse of. So, collect all the points where the value 1 is taken, collect all the points where the value 0 is taken. So, intuitively you will get this kind of a picture, right. So, this is kind of a and this is kind of B. So, this is A, this is B. So, every point in A goes to 0 and every point in B goes to 1. Okay? Now, look at <coughs> the set A. So, x is equal to A union B. So, note A union B, right? every point of x has to go either in 0 or 1. So, inverse image of both. So, now claim this is a separation of I have written x as a union of two sets a and b and a and b are separated from each other. Because I look at any point of a, If I look at any point of A, okay, and look at, can I find a ball so that no point goes to the value zero? See, at every point, let me look at the picture here. At every point of A, I can have a ball. Even if you think this way, I will have a ball. This is a ball in A, because only the part in A is to be considered, right? So that will not intersect with any point in B. Or if you like, here is another way of looking at it, f inverse of singleton. Can you say singleton is an open set or a closed set? Op singleton set in R n. A singleton point is open or closed? What is the complement of it? is open. So, singleton is closed. Every singleton is closed. Inverse image of a closed set is closed, if you believe in continuity that uh, definition uh, equivalent way of saying that. Right or okay, look at yeah. So, basically what we are saying is that f inverse of 0 and f inverse of 1 both are open as well as closed in a in uh, x in x both are closed and open in x or the two are separated from each other whichever way you it helps you to visualize that every point of uh, a the value is 0 and between 0 and 1 there is a distance, right. So, I can take a open ball around 0, take the inverse image that will not intersect anywhere in B. So, no point of that should go in B. Is that okay? You can also think it this way, if you like, take take a open interval around it, which does not include 1. So, this is neighborhood of 0, f is continuous. So, I should have a neighborhood of the inverse image. So, neighborhood of whatever point I am taking that will be in A okay? and that should not intersect with 1 because that is going to be completely contained here. So, every point in A will have a neighborhood which does not intersect in B. 
So, A is separated from B. Is that convincing for you? Yes. Take a neighborhood of the point 0, which does not include, say for example, you can take 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 3 open interval. So, let me just for example, here it is 0, minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. This is a neighborhood of 0, right? And let us take a point x belonging to A, then what is f of x? That is 0, right? So, x is a point, the value is 0. So, if I take this neighborhood of 0, what does continuity say? There should be a neighborhood of in the domain which is mapped into inside it. So, there is a neighborhood of the point x which is mapped into minus 1 to 1 by 3 and no point of that because that is inside this. So, it, no point of that neighborhood will go to 1. That means, that neighborhood does not intersect the set B. Okay? So, that is another way of saying this is a separation similarly from B to A. So, every point of A is separated from B, every point of B is separated from A and that is a contradiction because x is connected. So, is a separation, this is a contradiction. Because x is given to be connected and we are producing a separation if it is not a constant function. So, it must be a constant function. So, we have proved one way, right. If x is connected, then the image, uh, then uh, every function on x to 0 1 taking two values at the most, it should only take one value if x is connected. Every continuous function on x into the two points at 0 1 must be a constant function. The converse is also true, but I think we do not have time to prove the converse. So, we will do it next time. Namely, if x is such that it has properties that every function is a constant function two point, then it is a connected set. So, we will prove the converse next time. Okay.